This is what all comes in your kit when you get it. Um, this here, this is the tempo flow. Your adjustment screw for your altitude, uh, all your hoses, all your connections, diagrams for you, and that's the box that came in. So uh, let's go over here and we'll open the hood. Alright, I already took the top off my SLP. And I already drilled the hole for for the tempo flow. Let's open this up here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to take this tempo flow and this is funky doing with the camera on. <laughs> Put that in like that. And the next thing we want to do. Just want to put the hose on. Okay. Now I have to get the clamp. Hang on a minute. I'm going to shut this off okay. and put it on the tripod. So now we got to put the clamp on here.
So the clamp's on. I'm going to tighten it up then. Then we have to install the bigger tube and the T that goes down inside the box. It, it helps right. it breathe. So I changed the angles for you. So that way you can see this elbow goes on the temp flow. Right like that. And then this T goes on the end of that. Now the T is supposed to be back away from any pressure changes or high vacuum. So we're going to put it all the way in the back of the box. So we're going to put this on like this, if you can see it. Stick this on the elbow. With the natural curve of the hose, it's going to lay way in the back corner here. And I'll zippy tie that in then. Okay. So that's basically it for inside the box that you can see in there. All right. Now this is going to get zippy tied way in the back back here. So that way it's away from everything. So now we'll move on to the front here. Okay. So now we got a bunch of hoses to stick on this side. And I'll be right back. Okay. So now that my batteries are dying, uh, we're going to put this on the inside here. Make sure that's all good. Next thing I have to do is drill a hole in the top of the carburetor plate. Okay, this hole is going to have that little guy in it there. Then we're going to connect this hose to it. So, while I go drill that hole, I'll give these batteries rest, and I'll be back okay. in a second. So, we drilled the hole and put our little orifice in there. Uh, we backed it up with a little PC7. We'll let it dry and then uh, put it back on. Uh, while I was doing that, I also installed inside here is a breather tube that comes off the tempo flow. It goes down and hooks into, it tees into your other breathers, which used to go into the box here. Well, now this is going to change your pressure inside these vacuum tubes. So, the only thing we have left now is to put that back on as soon as it dries up. Put the top of our SLP intake back on, and we're pretty much ready to roll. Okay, so, so hopefully I can get through this quick enough before my batteries die. Uh, here's our outlet coming in to our carburetor, our pins in, our breather hose is now hooked up to our T and into the carburetors. There's the corner of our tempo flow. This breather hose must be lower than this in the air box. Also with the T, it must be lower than the tempo flow. Just so you guys know. Um, that's about it. Uh, get a chance here. We'll crank her up and uh, see what it does. It should run okay on the stand. from here on in before we get out in the snow I'll let you guys know and uh, that's it if you get a chance or you want to I mean if, if you really want this uh, get a hold of Holtzman Engineering uh, I believe it's HoltzmanEngineering.com and uh, they'll send you one out answer any questions you have so yeah you know, that's it we'll see you out on the snow I'm 500 India one <laughs>